I'm always trying to improve my video quality so I wanted to upgrade it to a new camera that was my graduation gift which I talked about in this video here um, if you guys missed it you can check that out um, but yeah let's just jump right into the video Hi. <laughs> So I have this huge box, okay? I'm not sure why it came in this gigantic box. Um, but I ordered it from Best Buy online and it took like a millennia to get here. Uh, I, I mean, in reality, it only took a week, but I was so excited and so just waiting. You know, when you're excited for something and you gotta wait for it, it just seems like it takes forever. So yes, that was this. Um, but it came last night and I was very tempted to open it. I wanted to wait and open it with y'all. So that's what we are getting ready to do. I'm doing a new camera setup. I have two cameras, um, one so that you guys can really get like a deep I want you to be able to see everything that comes in the box and then my camera that I'm talking to you guys with, okay? Let me make sure, th let me make sure that the other camera is on. Hold on. Okay, so this is how it all came. With all this plastic here. That's at the side. And then this is the box here. So let's do this. I'm excited. I'm excited. I always get excited when I'm doing things, kind of making an investment in myself. You know, if you really are serious about your youtube channel you want to make sure that you're you know eventually you can upgrade your you know your camera and the things that you use you know make it make the quality good for not only yourself you want to make sure you're putting out good content so having good equipment is very important okay that took that was a mission okay these to the side um Go. I'm supposed to do one of these numbers. I must say it came very well packaged. Okay. Oh, I, I got another um disc. I didn't know I was getting another one. Okay. Let's go through each and everything here together. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way. So, like I said, I purchased this from Best Buy, and it was on sale. It was $250 off, um, so I think I paid $4.99, and it came with the camera. comes with the camera, and then it comes with the microphone, which I desperately needed. Um, like I said, my first two cameras, I have a Sony A5100 and then the Canon T6, which my boyfriend lovingly took from me. Um, but he, <laughs> neither one of those cameras offers an external mic. And I love my A, my Sony A5100. It's still a great camera and I probably still will be using it for like when I go out vlogging when we ever get to go back outside. Yeah, so I wanted to get a microphone. So let's do the microphone first. So this is the Rode Video Mic Go Lightweight On Camera Microphone. Um, it looks like this in the packaging. You guys can see under here. This is what it looks like. Um, so I will have to do some reading and maybe YouTube to see how I'm supposed to attach it. But I believe it just it goes on the top of the camera because it has a little clip here. It has a little clip to go on top of the camera. And then obviously this is the microphone. Um, it didn't come with one of the muffs on there but I can get that later I may or may not even need it and then it comes with the jack for you to be able to um, connect it to your camera from the microphone to the camera and yes it comes with another SD card 32 gigabytes here um, which I'm so happy about because I needed another one um, I was having some trouble with my last SD card when I was trying to upload which I'm kind of talked about well I kind of shared what happened in the last video which um I will leave that link down below if you guys missed that one and now on to the queen of the show <laughs> with this 
standard instructions. Comes with the manual here. Um, comes with registration. Um, register your Canon imaging product now. So I'm just gonna go through each little section here. Yes, I know I'm killing you guys with the suspense. Um, so it comes with a Canon strap, which I already had one, but it was like the thicker one before. Um, but it comes with the strap, so that's great because I do use my strap. Um, and it just looks like this. Very nice and simple, red and black. Here we go. Okay, so nice strap. Um, it comes with, let's see what's in here. This is, oh, this is the lens, and then come, this is the battery. And I don't know if this is the same battery as my other camera. I hope it is, because then that means I have, like, two extra batteries. But I don't think it is, no. And this one is much more, I don't know, it might be. This one's a little bit more skinny. Um, I'm not sure if it, if it fit but we'll see um, but that is that and the lens comes with this the kit lens of course you can use any canon lens that fits this camera um, or any I guess any lens that was is compatible with this camera you can use it back here this is oh this is the battery pack that it comes with as well it comes with the battery pack and you simply just the plug is here in the back and then you just plug that sucker into the wall and you put the battery in there it goes like it goes like this I keep forgetting that there's a camera up here it goes like this um, you guys want to see this view it looks like this okay and I'm familiar with this because the other uh, Canon had the same thing so it's great that they give you a battery pack <laughs> oh guys it's so nice it's people said it was lightweight this thing is heavy this thing is heavy to me. Okay, so this is the viewfinder. I love the camera. I like the dial. It's very nice and like, I don't know, it's princessy. Um, like the little, like little diamond cuts, um, diamond design cut on it. Very nice. Um, this, I'm assuming, is the, I'm assuming this is the flash, but also where the microphone goes. It will attach to here. Um, I do that again. And this is the viewfinder. This is the viewfinder. So it comes out like this. Um, or you and you can switch it so you can see yourself. Okay. Love that. I'm gonna have to get used to looking to the side though because the Sony the flip. The viewfinder is up top, which I'm so used to, which is more convenient because you can't really tell that I'm not looking at the actual camera itself. I mean, you might be able to very slightly, but for the most part, I'm looking at you guys. Um, this one is, I'm going to have to kind of remember to make sure I'm looking at the actual lens. Um, and then, I don't know if this is charged. I want to do a test with you guys. I want to... See, we can tell the quality between this and the A5100. So I'm going to set that up and then I'll be back.
just finished setting it up um, I kind of just went through the, the camera a little bit just kind of familiarizing myself with the basic settings I mean pretty much all cameras are most likely the same they have mostly similar settings or a setup so you know I went through the ISO the aperture uh, the brightness the um, clips per minute um, the HD 1080p so I set all that up um, I'm also going to leave the two videos that I watched that helped me to make this decision on choosing this camera and then also um how i set it up okay so right now i have both cameras going um i have the canon on one side and the sony on the other i want to see if you guys can see which one is which if you could choose which one is which leave it down in the comments below i will have it up on the screen here in a few minutes for you but um as you can see the quality in both i still like the quality of both of these cameras um i would say that the canon one is a lot more crisp and maybe gives a more of a more gives a more truer color whereas the sony is adding a little bit of color to the to the to the recording to the to the film which i don't mind um you know I, I love the picture of the Sony a5100 it's just always so it makes the colors pop in there I find that when I'm working with other cameras or I ha have shot with other cameras in the past that I had to really adjust the color and I don't have to do that with the a5100 with the Canon I can't see me really adjusting the color too much although I will probably add a little bit more saturation to it just to make the colors pop a little bit but overall is a great picture crisp um, the background is a lot more blurred in this one than it is in the Sony um, if you guys can tell that I still need to buy a lens though for it but this was a great purchase a great investment towards my YouTube career that I have been working on I will leave the links down below from where I purchased it on Best Buy I'm not sure if they're still running the sale but I will leave the link down below for you guys to be able to cop one of these if you want if you're looking to upgrade your camera I would highly recommend this camera um, but yeah I think that that is going to do it for today's video I hope that you enjoyed the, the video hope that you enjoyed all the different views and uh the opinions that i gave here and um, if you guys have any questions or comments leave them down below if you're not subscribed please do subscribe 
and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.